Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mr. Peck here. We are entering the new chapters called the Work, Energy and Power. Okay, and today we start with the new subtopic, Work Done. And this is our first question in this subtopic, Work Done. Okay, let us read the question together. The displacement of the point of application of a force, F, is S. Uh, S is the displacement. Find the work done for each of the following. Okay? So, uh, we need to find the work done. Uh, so, uh, just take note. We need to find the work done. Okay. So, we have... Um, let me see. Uh. So, we have three situations here. A, B, and C. All of them have the same forces. 5 Newton. Okay? And also, same uh, displacement. 2 meter. Uh, only difference is the angle between the force and displacement. The first one is 0 degree. Uh, and then the second one is 30 degree. And the third one is 120 degree. So how to find the work done for each of these conditions? Okay. Now before we do this, uh, we, let us refresh back what we have learned before in uh, this work done. Yeah, this is some express notes uh, on work done. Okay, what is actually work done? Yeah, work done is actually the dot product between force and displacement. Uh, still remember what is dot product? Yeah, we have learned that in our first chapter. Dot product actually is the multiplication between two vectors. Okay, one of one of the multiplication of vectors is called dot product, and the other one is called the cross product. Okay, uh, so in dot product, okay we have the work done equal to f dot s okay uh, f dot s so for example if we have the force and displacement these two vectors uh, separated by angle theta and we want to multiply these two vectors together how uh, we use dot product okay we use dot product before we can multiply we must first resolve the force into two components uh, yeah, the component parallel to displacement is f cos theta. Yeah, this one use cos theta because adjacent to the angle theta. And another component is the par uh, perpendicular component. Perpendicular component f sine theta. Uh, this one sine theta because it is uh, opposite to the angle. Okay, so force can be resolved into the parallel component and the perpendicular component. So uh, which force, well, which components contribute to the displacement? Yeah, w what do you think? Which force will really move the object along the displacement? Of course, it's f cos theta will move the object along the displacement. f sin theta has no function at all. Yeah, cannot move the object along the displacement. So that's why in dot product we use the only the parallel component to multiply. Uh, that means we use the f cos theta to multiply with the displacement. Uh, this, the other one, f, the perpendicular component, we just ignore. Yeah, it has. Uh, it does not contribute. Uh, it does not move the object along the displacement. Only the f cos theta move the object. Uh, so that's why work done is using the f cos theta, the parallel component, to multiply with the displacement. Okay. Uh, and then this cos theta can be uh, this cos theta can be transferred to the back, and that's why we have uh, f fs cos theta. Okay, fs cos theta with the angle theta is the angle between force and displacement. Okay, uh, theta is the angle between force and displacement. So work done is f times s cos angle between them. Okay. Uh, that is dot product. Uh, that is dot product. So, uh, the first one, uh, so we just use the formula, work done equal to fs cos theta. So, uh, what is angle between these two forces? Uh, no, between this force and displacement, what's the angle between them? Yes, the angle between them is 0 degree. Because they are parallel to each other, same direction. Uh, so, so, we write that as, uh, uh, so, it is 5 times 2 cos 0, uh, cos 0 degree. So, cos 0 
uh, cos what what is a uh, cos zero? Cos zero is actually equal to one, right? Cos zero equal to one. So after we multiply, we get uh, ten joule. Uh, the unit for work done is joule. Okay. And then what is the the second one? Uh, the second one, the angle between force and displacement is um sorry, the angle between force and displacement. All right. Okay, uh, the angle between force and displacement is 30 degree. So, how to do? So, just 5 times uh, 2 meter cos 30 degree because the angle between them is 30 degree. Okay, uh, so uh, we get 8.66 joule. That's our work done. And then uh, finally, uh, the angle between force and displacement become 120 degree. All right, so uh 5 times 2 yeah 5 newton times 2 meter cos 120 degree uh, just put the angle between them uh, cos 120 degree and we get negative 5 joule okay the negative sign you must write down yeah uh, so uh, this is how we calculate the work done okay hope you understand the concept and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Bye!